Good evening, boils and ghouls, and welcome to the Spooky Dating Game Show. I am your host, Dracula. We have an extra spooktacular ghoul on our show tonight. She's a scream queen that has the looks to put the rigor in your mortals. Fresh from the mold, Evelyn. She'll be asking questions to see which one of our three terrific guys is the fright one for cleaning out her cobwebs, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Gross. Our first lucky bachelor is a reanimated corpse who was brought back to life after an embalming accident involving hot sauce. Please welcome Dennis. Say hi to Evelyn, Dennis. <gasps> Our second bachelor comes from royalty. Ooh. Give it up for Ramses the Great, Pharaoh of the Upper and Lower Kingdoms of Egypt. He enjoys long walks on the beach and, oh, because of the sand. <laughs> and last but not least, a hotel proprietor, Norman. That's not spooky. Why are you here, Norman? My mother disappeared under, uh, mysterious circumstances. Oh, sorry to hear about that. Evelyn, please ask the first question. Bachelor number one, if we were taking a nice stroll through the cemetery under a full moon and I start to shiver from the cold wind, what would you do to warm me up? <sighs> okay. Bachelor number two... I would wrap my arms around you and show you my snake dance. Sounds like we have a snake charmer here. What about you, bachelor number three? How would you warm me up? I would take my jacket off, place it on your shoulders, and pull you close to me. Aww. Oh, that's nice, I suppose. Well, then, after a word from our sponsors, we'll sink our fangs into some more bone-chilling questions. Yeah. What? Oh, well, nothing. The Spooky Dating Game Show is brought to you by... Kazoos! Mm -hmm. The best way to be annoying since 1953. Mm -hmm. And... Legos! Ow! First to step on them. <laughs> Welcome back to the Spooky Dating Game Show. Our lovely guest Evelyn has some more questions for our mystery bachelors Dennis, Ramses, and Norman. Bachelor number two. I know you're a big scary monster, but sometimes it's good to have something a little sweet. Where would you take me for dessert after our big date? I would take you to my favorite ice cream shop and... Oh. Bachelor number one? <gasps> also lame. Okay. What about you, bachelor number three? Two big scoops of strawberry ice cream with blood drizzled all over them. <gasps> I'm sorry. Did you say blood? Did I? I'm sorry. My mind must be... Somewhere else. Right. Next question. Bachelor number two. I'm scared about giving my number out to strange guys. What are you scared of? I'm scared of girls that ask too many questions. Like, why do I spend so much time in my basement? Why do I have this wig and dress on? What's my fixation with my mother? Where did I get this axe from? <gasps> um, bachelor number one? <coughs> uh, does anybody, like, realize what's going on here? Ah, 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 no peeking. Let's move on to our final question, Evelyn. So we've reached the end of our horrific evening. How do you wish me good night? No, say it to the camera. So we've reached the end of our horrific evening. How do you wish me good night? Uh, chloroform in a rag? 
So, Evelyn, you've heard from each of our three... Uh, two? Two, but... Just one? From our bachelor, which do you choose? I want you, Dracula. Oh, look, I think I see the sun. Good, 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 good